Sup guys, Flexboy here! And this video will be a kind of a follow-up video to the previous recording tutorial I did a couple of months ago. Maybe it's even a year ago, I can't really remember. That tutorial was about recording with Fraps. However, this time we're going to use the CSGO engine itself to record our videos. I've also got a lot of questions of how I manage my movie making stuff together with my gaming stuff. So that's something that I will be showing you guys as well. So, first up, switching between configs. So, first of all, what I've got here is a shortcut to the CSGO folder. This folder can also be found in your Steam folder. Just find the Steam folder, click that, and go to Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and then here. Here it is. I have a shortcut to this folder just so that I can reach all the different demos and files in the CSGO folder as fast as possible. And now, if this is your first time downloading a movie making config, I would highly recommend you to back up your current config. Just make a new folder in the desktop and move this config or copy it to this folder in the desktop. Just so you don't have to bother with mixing up your configs and having to redo all your old settings and stuff. Now, how I would go about switching different configs is I would have different folders on the desktop. In this case, I have two different folders. CSGO MM and CSGO Game. MM in this case stands for Move Making Guys, not Matchmaking. Just keep that in mind. And this folder is empty. The CSGO Game folder is empty. This means I have the gaming config in my CSGO folder. The way I would do it then, let's say I just made something cool in matchmaking, right? I just wanted to record that, upload it to YouTube, maybe do some cool edit or something. The way I would do it, I would just drag this config, which is the gaming config, into the CSGO game folder. Then what I would do is I would delete the CFG inside the CSGO folder and drag the CSGO MM CFG folder into the CSGO folder. There's a lot of folders here guys, so I don't expect you to um, catch catch on immediately, but yeah. Just watch the tutorial again and you'll see. <laughs> now but for real, this is how I do it. I just switch between different folders. I found this to be the easiest way for me. Um, doesn't really necessarily have to be the easiest way for you, but yeah, this is how I do it. So yeah, among all the links in the description, I've included a download link to my movie making config or well, a folder containing my movie making config. In this folder, there's a CFG folder, and inside the CFG folder, there are two conf conf CFG files. One named Flax, which is the movie making config itself, and another one named Config. This is such a config that contains all my different Steam or CSGO buy-ins and stuff that I don't want to lose, pretty much. And inside the movie making config, there's just a lot of commands that you might want to change yourself. I, for example, have a different skybox and stuff, so that might be something you want to change yourself. Okay, so what you would do now is just drag this config into the CSGO folder. Um, but as I said before, make sure to make a backup before you do this, so you don't have to mess around with making all your binds again if you actually fuck up. So, just drag this config into the CSGO folder, and then you're good to go. You can now start CSGO. Now, as soon as you get into CSGO, you have to execute my movie making config. The way you do this is go to the console and type exec flax. There you go, flax by movie making config executed. Alright, nice. You can close that now, and one thing that you might want to change is the uh, video settings in the options tab. You might want to have a different resolution, but for this tutorial, I will just use the 12 by 80 by 720. Okay, so how to load up a demo is you just press and hold shift plus F2. So that's shift plus F2. This little window will pop up and you can click load. Um, this is where all your demos are if you imported them. And if you do have problems with finding your own demos, I actually have another tutorial showing you how to find all your demos. So if you have this kind of problem, I suggest you go to that tutorial. I would just put an annotation on the screen right now. And you can go to that right now. Alright guys, so we're back with the tutorial. And let's just go into a random demo here try to record this okay so in my movie making config I have three different binds left arrow up arrow and right arrow let's start with the most important one yeah the up arrow the up arrow changes the view model a bit enables host frame rate to 240 which is the normal speed in game as well as putting host time scale to 1 which makes it possible to record the sound in game as well now the left arrow just resets everything back to normal 
it's just as simple as that. And then we have the right arrow, which is basically like the up arrow, just that it's a lot slower. You might want to use this for slower cinematics or smooths or whatever. Okay, so when you've found the place that you want to start record, all you've got to do is basically press up arrow or, or right arrow, depending on how slow you want it to be, and then just press F11. Now as recording is, re you can notice it's recording because it's a lot slower. That's only because it's recording every single frame that's played up. And then when you want to start record, you just press F12. It will freeze for a bit and then it'll go back to normal. And there, you're pretty much done now. You recorded that part and you're good to go. So now you can exit CSGO and open up Virtual Dub. Now inside Virtual Dub, you go to File, Open Video File, and click on any of these like small pictures you have. You've got a lot of small pictures. Um, just go with the like an early one, maybe the first one. Now, inside Virtual Dub, you can also make some basic editing. What you can do is you can click Home and then drag this. This goes forward and backwards to just like preview what you just recorded. You can click End. Now, this selects a small, a small part. This part will only be rendered out then. So let's just have like when he scopes out, start, and then let's like, say we want to end their video here. Okay. What you want to do now is you want to click video frame rate. Change frame rate to now I pressed up arrow which puts the host frame rate to 240. So we'll just put 240 into here and click OK. Click on video again and go to color depth. I think it will be auto select by default. So what you want to do is click 24 bit RGB and then save as default and click OK. And that's it, you're pretty much done. If you want the sound though, you have to click audio audio from other file and click the audio file with the name of the file recording. Click open and then click audio once again and click full processing mode. And now you're done. You, you can't really do anything more in here, I think. Maybe someone correct me on that. Um, so to save this, you go to file and then save as AVI and do, then just like save it in a folder that you want to save it in and the render will start to begin. What? Alright, so you can actually speed up this render by changing the processing thread priority from normal or above. This however will use a bit more RAM than before, so yeah, just don't use too much if you have a bad computer that might like blue screen your ass, so yeah. And then you're done in virtual dub as well. And all that's left now is just opening your favorite editing software, go into the folder where you saved your video and then just drag the video into yeah, the editing software. I'm not really recording the sound now when I'm recording this tutorial, so we can't really hear the sound that's playing up now, but yeah, you can clearly see this is the op, op sound here, and like when he walks in here, picks up the op, you know. Alright, so that was pretty much everything for the recording tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to make a comment, and I will be sure to answer it as soon as possible. The main differences between this method and the fraps method is basically that the fraps method is a bit faster than this. However, this method is a lot more safe when it comes to frames. This method won't have any lags. It will it will record all the frames. While fraps might actually lag or skip some frames because of your computer. So I would say this is the most like safe way to record even though it might take a bit longer. So, yeah. Alright guys, that was everything for me. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page, my Twitter, um, my Twitch. If you're into live streaming, I do live stream like once a week or something. Pretty cool. Might, might want to just check it out, say hi. You know, yeah, you never know. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. <laughs>